is it? Cruising down the street in my six My town Jacking the beast I'm slapping the hole What's up guys? Welcome to my first YouTube Q&A Pretty crazy Who knows, maybe I won't even post it because I just shot it and I didn't like it so now we're gonna reshoot it <laughs> So here we go Where do I live? I'm currently in Manhattan but I don't live here anymore I used to live here for the past four years when I was in college but I recently graduated in May so I moved back home to Long Island but I'm constantly back and forth during the week so yeah how old am I? I'm 22 and my birthday is in March so I'm an Aries <laughs> How tall am I? I'm 5'3", so pretty short. A lot of people on Instagram always think I'm so tall. I think maybe that's just because of the angle, but I'm short. <laughs> How I started my fashion page, and a lot of you wanted to know how I started my thing for cars. So I guess I will start from the very beginning so it all makes sense. So growing up, I was a huge athlete. I played sports all the time, traveled, did all of that. Um, so sports was my thing. I was never into fashion. I was always wearing um, a sports uniform or a school uniform. I never really had to like wear my own clothes. <laughs> and then, around I want to say when I was like 12 going into high school I found out that I have um, a heart condition so then I technically had to stop playing sports right away but since I was going to like an athletic school where I was going to play sports I didn't tell anybody so I still played and yeah that was my career when I was younger um, but then around junior year I stopped and started getting into art different drawings which I'm sure you've seen like since now I kind of do more of like tattoos um, and then I started like teaching myself some instruments and started DJing for a bit so then going into college, um, which is when I s kind of discovered my style. So people started to like compliment me and I was like, you like this outfit? <laughs> I didn't even have the idea of starting my blog. It was actually my mom. She called me and she was like, oh, my friends and I love your outfits. You should maybe like start a blog. I think it would be really cool. And I was like, no way. That's so not me. I was never like a girly girl. Um, but I don't know then I was like I'm not doing anything else <laughs> so so then I started that through my blog I was getting invited um, to fashion weeks and after going to all those events I realized that fashion like the fashion industry was not for me I didn't really like uh, I don't know the atmosphere and then that's when I really started to think about cars but going back again <laughs> My dad was the one who introduced me to cars because he's a car dealer. So growing up, I was always going to car events with my dad, whether it was special exotic events that he was invited to or business events or trips for his job. And so I owe my passion for cars to my dad. And yeah, so then fast forward, junior year in college i was like maybe i'll try out working in the car industry because i love car events and i hated fashion events <laughs> so I, I mean i didn't hate them but it just like wasn't for me so then i started working in the car industry and then that's how everything happened and now we're here 
what's my favorite car it used to be the ferrari daytona but i want to say now it's probably the countach the lamborghini countach i mean it's always changing do i know how to drift no not at all <laughs> i'm such a safe driver so i i mean also i drive a jeep i'm not gonna like do any like crazy cool things in my jeep um, like the max I can go is like 60 before it like breaks down <laughs> So yeah, but I would love to learn prefer sunrise or sunset driving. I would say sunset driving Okay, I need to shut my phone off. I think sunset drives. They're cool um, Is the Countach your ultimate dream car? I mean yes <laughs> No, I mean, I don't know I love the Countach, clearly, as you can tell from my Instagram, I'm always posting the Countach. But I don't know, like my dream is to have like a really nice car garage, like collectibles. If I had to choose any two cars, what would they be? Uh, I don't know, I, I feel like if it was three, <laughs> that would be easier because one car would be like a daily driver which would probably like my ultimate dream daily driver would be like a pimped out 4x4 g-wagon so that would be like a daily driver but then i would also want like a vintage classic like probably the countach and then something more modern so probably like a modern ferrari like 488 just to like go crazy I'm such a safe driver. Favorite fashion and car collab? That's hard. Even though there aren't that many, I feel like the ones that were good are like all done with Porsche. <laughs> so any Porsche collab with a fashion brand. Have I ever visited La Arta Automobile? No, but it is a dream. So after quarantine, I'm on my way to Paris and going to visit their garage because I just can't stop thinking about it. I am I'm a huge La Art automobile, automobile fan girl. girl. So, so I'm there. Arthur, I'm coming for you. <laughs> Biggest fashion icon. That's hard because half my life was not even in fashion and now I just like get inspo from a bunch of people but I would say I love Bella Hadid style, Hailey Bieber, and Enrada. I feel like they all have great style. My main job. That's a good question because half the time I don't even know. I'm sure like all you guys on Instagram see me running around doing like all these random things and they're, everyone's probably like what does this girl even do? Like what, what is she doing? she have a job i don't know i feel like i kind of work on two different worlds so i have my instagram side which is all fashion with my agency and brand collabs and all of that and then i also have like my real job which is everything in the car world so events marketing social media yeah, all of that fun stuff. Hair tips for growth. I have a blog about that um, that I can put in the description below for you guys. Same with the next question, um, favorite beauty products. I'm pretty sure I have a link to that as well in a blog, but I'll definitely have to update that as well. How often do I self tan? <laughs> Any chance that I get. Probably like once a week or whenever it fades how I stay motivated and inspired so I feel like growing up when I found out that I had uh, my heart problem and I had to stop playing sports I was really like the most unmotivated person in the world so what really helped me was reading different quotes like positive motivating quotes every morning just to like start my day which is why I also post it now on my Instagram, like my quotes with Julie. Since it's helped me so much, I wanna continue to do that every day and, and put a quote out 
whatever it is um, hoping that it helps you guys in the morning so that's always good um, and helps motivates me um, some other things I always set goals uh, check them off making sure I'm staying on track with what I want to do and also even if I'm not motivated for a day um, I will listen I'll listen to my body and my mind and chill out whether it's a few minutes a few hours or for the day and while I'm in that downtime I will plan and if I, like for example if I'm if I need to shoot something and I'm like so uninspired I will pick out some inspo on Pinterest or collect some images that I like or styles any anything that can help feed me inspiration I will do that on my downtime and then the next day everything that I plan to do I will do that and get right back into it so you know it's okay to allow yourself to have like that downtime and you know listen to yourself if you're not feeling it you know like regroup and then kill it the next day or the next hour or something like that so yeah, so listen to yourself. Um, who inspires me to keep going? What's really good to have is the people around you who are like motivating people. There's this quote that I like where it's um, something like, there's five people that you should surround yourself with, the motivated, the uh, this and that. I'll, I'll put a photo here if I find it. Um, which I think is so true. So always surround yourself with good people who inspire you to keep going, who motivate you to go further, push you. You know, you always want those type of people around you and not, you know, negative, unmotivated people. So I think the people, well, I know the people around me are definitely those people, which answers the next question, which is if I have a small or big circle, um, and I would definitely consider my circle small because I think quality is way more important than quantity and Yeah, all the people I have in my life have different qualities that um, Inspire me so I think that's super important to have and I think also like Even myself like I'm one of my biggest motivators, you know and I feel like other people should be too. Like you're con at the end of the day, you're with yourself. You're always going to be with yourself. So you want to make sure that you are always in a positive, good mindset that's healthy, that can keep you going, essentially. Last one is my dream job or um, where I see myself in 10 years. The main priority of wherever I am in the next 10 years and what I do is to be happy because I'm a big believer of do what you love because I think that doesn't feel like work so yeah I would say that making sure I'm happy I love to travel so I always want to learn more from other people, cultures, you know, experiences. So definitely traveling a lot, um, living somewhere warm with a family, and yeah, just doing what I love. That concludes my first YouTube video. I guess we have to do the corny outro for YouTube now. So don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> Or a like and comment. I don't know how they say it. I don't really know. But like, comment, and subscribe because I guess this is just the beginning. So it's probably gonna get crazy from here. <laughs> Bye. Cruising down the street in my six. I got slapping the